Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn everything about VBA. In our last video, we saw how we can make uh, conditional formatting in charts based on uh, values with the help of VBA. And today we are going to do some more things with VBA in charts like changing access title, making it visible or invisible, changing access or making it visible, invisible charts, titles, and um, data labels. So let's see how we can work with all these items coming up. But wait, before moving on to today's topic, if you are new on this channel and want to learn everything about VBA and become an expert in it, I would recommend you to subscribe to my channel right now because we keep coming up with new videos on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Looking at my computer screen now, uh, as you can see, we are going to use the same chart which we used in our last video. And few of the things, as I said, which we are going to make dynamic are access, access title, uh, chart title, data labels. And access also, you can See, this is known as category access and this is known as value access because here we are defining the categories and over here we have the value of those, right? So we will see how we can do uh, change all this like hide, unhide all this or place them at different places with VBA. So let's open VBA editor pressing Alt and F11. And if you don't have a new module, you can click and insert a new module. I already have one, so I'm not going to do that. So this is the module seven, which I'm going to use. I'll just close this, right? So first of all, what we will do is we will hide or unhide these X's, these two X's, okay? So I already have the codes there just to save your time. They are very easy. As you can see, all one liner codes I have uh, so you can see, first of all, I'm selecting the chart, which is chart one, active sheet dot chart objects, and I'm activating it. After activating it, I'm setting the elements, right? And this is the code that you have to write, right? So for removing the axis so that it's not visible, you have to write MSO element primary category axis none, right? So this is for this one and value primary value axis none. So this is the primary axis of values, which will change to none. So they both will hide. And then if you see the next two lines, they are just uh, instead of none uh, in the last, they are just show, right? So that's how we can hide or unhide these axes. I'll just run this code for you. So I'm pressing F8 to step run. So you can see the category axis is gone now. And if I press F8 one more time, so the other axis is also value axis is also gone, right? And now if I'll press this, you can see both these axes are now available here, right? So this way you can uh, hide or unhide axis. Now coming to titles. So these titles right now, as you can see, are visible. But what if you want to hide them with VBA? So it's very simple again, you just have to write this same as above and then MSO element primary category. So this till here it's same. And then instead of access, you have to write access title and then none to hide it, right? So I'll just press the F8 to show you. So you can see the below uh, title is now gone from here and now this will go once I press F8, right? Now to show them, you have to write MSO element primary category. So this again, everything is same till access title. And then I'm telling it where I want it. So I want it adjacent to access in both the cases, right? So I'll press F8. And as you can see, it's here now, right? Now uh, we'll see about how we can hide the title of the chart, which is this survey score, right? This is the title. So the same similar code, MSO element, chart title, none, right? Very easy one. 
and if we want to see it so we have to tell it where we want to see it so mso element chart title above chart so there is one more place uh, where we can show uh, the chart just hold on i'll show it to you so right now uh, it is above the chart okay so you can see once i'll delete all this i'll get a lot of elements i'll close this and show it to you stop it right and now you can see once i write mso element you can see there are a lot of things which you can do with charts right so for example i'll show you the first two three things that we have already done so right uh, first i'll show you about chart title so if i talk about chart title as i say there is one more thing which we can do and that is chart title centered overlay or chart title above chart right so i'll do this also so you can see the difference and i'll then explain you about other features right I'll just run this part so you can see right now uh, the chart is title is visible and I'll do the step run so you can see once the code none is run the chart title is gone and now I'm running this part which is above chart and the next uh, feature is chart title centered overlay right so this will overlay the whatever values you have so obviously it's not looking good so the first option was good I'll just go back and run it right okay uh, now I'll explain you how you can see a lot of other elements that you can use so I'll write active chart dot set elements set element then you have to write MSO element right and now let's say you want to do something with primary category right which is uh, this titles here January February and all so you can see there are a lot of uh, uh, different things you can do uh, like you can do excess billion or you can use it as a log scale or in million or none we already showed you or just hold on right uh so primary uh none we already saw and reverse you can reverse this you can show or none so these are all the things which you can do with primary axis or category axis and you, the same things you can also do with value axis so there are all these elements available you just have to find it from here by typing a little bit of it like i did like typed mso element and i got everything prompt prompt by excel so you can use this way if you don't want to remember all this so you can use this right now i'll tell you how we can use some other things like data labels right so data labels right now are available here all these are data labels the numbers that you see at the top of all these right so this is the code data label none so it will change it to none data label outside end so it will show here outside end and I'll show you what are other options available where we can place these values. So I'll come to data labels. So right now I'll run it for none. So you can see these uh, numbers are gone. Now they are coming outside the end of the line. So wherever the graph line ends or wherever the uh, bar or column ends, so it will show at the end of it, right? now i'm uh, you know making visible data table so this is kind of a data table which you can see is coming now below it right and the code to off it is again data table none so these are very self-explanatory and easy to remember codes so this will be useful for you right now as i said i'll uh, show you how you can use uh, some other places for data labels so you have to write active chart dot set element 
right and mso element so you just write data label and you will get all the options that are available so as you can see on my screen some of the data label options that are available are like you can keep it as best fit so wherever it fits best excel will find it automatically the bottom is where the starting call out are like uh, center inside base inside end on the left hand side none so there are a lot of options you can use right so you can try them at your end explore all these options right so i'll delete this for now as we are not going in much detail here so once you have seen uh, the data label the data table right we already saw chart title axis titles and axis so we will see one more thing which or sorry two more things one is uh, showing the grid lines and second one is showing the legends right okay so i'll run this so again codes are very simple as you can see that's why i'm not uh, you know saying it again and again so it's like primary value grid lines major right so very simple and primary value grid lines none so to change so right now there are no grid lines but if i run this code you can see now i have these gray grid lines here right if i want to remove them i'll do this none code and this is removed right same is for legends so right now i we don't have any legends available here in the chart so very simple mso element legend right and mso element legend none right so none is to uh, make it invisible or hide it or uh, right is to keep it on the right hand side right i'll just show you how it is coming on the right hand side right so you can see the legends are here now and once i run the code again they will go away right similarly the way i showed you for data labels like you can place it at various places inside outside best fit the same thing you can do for legends like you can keep it at the top you can keep it at the bottom or you can keep it on the left side or on the right side i showed you on the right hand side right so these are all the elements i wanted to show you all today so that's it for today's video i hope you all are now able to use these chart elements in vba and make your charts more interesting and dynamic if you have any questions let me know in comments subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that yet i'll be coming up with more such amazing videos so don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching i will see you next week bye bye